Hello friends and welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today in this particular segment under retail we will talk about store operations. Well store operation is a very wide space in retail and it is one of the most important things in order for retail to be a success. Let's look at what is there for us on the agenda today. Well, we will talk about what store operations is all about. We will also talk about the strategy in terms of the formulation of uh, this store process. Important aspects of store operations. So what exactly goes into making of a good store operation? The day to day checklist, which is important to take in mind and responsibilities of a store manager as well as research on different customer segments, men, women, as well as children. So let's get started on store operations. Well, if I have to ask you what exactly do we mean by the term store operation, let's look at what the dictionary defines it as. Store operation is a general term which is used for the teams that are responsible for the smooth running of a retail store. So right from the general manager, sales assistants, the majority of the retail jobs fall under this particular department. So everybody and anybody who is responsible for the success of retail store falls under store operations. Well, let's look at what is the strategy in terms of formulation of the store operation. Defining a primary task. So what is the most important task? Understanding what is the core competency for that particular task. So if it is, a, for example, a store manager or a visual merchandiser or even the HR manager, we have to understand what is the core competency required for that particular profile or job. Assessing the core competencies, for that you need to understand what does the firm do better than anyone else. So defining that particular aspect is very important. Positioning of the firm. So the retail outlet needs to understand what exactly are they positioned as. Are they positioned as a high end or a low end or a medium enterprise? How will the firm compete in terms of the cost? the quality as well as the speed of that particular product or service. So whenever we talk about store operations, we need to understand what is the strategy we need to formulate in order to have a successful store operation. Well, let's talk about the operations role in corporate strategy. So the operations provide support in differentiated strategy as well as operation serves as the firm's distinctive competence in executing similar strategy better than the competition. So as a store operations head, you need to understand how are you placed in respect to your competition and whether your pricing, your products are similar or different than your competitors. Now let's understand also certain visual terms that is important in terms of a store operation. So in order for store to function in an efficient manner, in order for the store to be productive, you need to understand what is the vision and the goals of that particular team or organization or the retail outlet. You need to have a vision and mission in place. You also need to understand what is a target that you are really catering to, what segment of the customer or consumers is your target base. Also understand what is the format type, is it an organized sector or unorganized retail or understanding what exactly is going to be your format for that particular store or retail outlet. Understanding what kind of marketing you have to do, understanding the kind of categories that you're going to have and also understanding what kind of customer service level are you going to provide to your particular consumers or prospective customers. So my friends, in order to have a store in order to have it run efficiently, you need to align yourself with all of these things and then only can your store run in an efficient manner operation wise. Let's look at certain important aspects of store operation. Now, for a store to function efficiently and operationally well, you need to understand that your customer service needs to be of A1 quality. Nobody wants to come into a store and have an experience of a bad customer service. Also making sure that your availability of product should be there on the shelf. It's a very disastrous thing if a customer comes inside the store and does not find the product on the shelf that he is looking for. So availability of on-shelf of products is very, very imperative. 
In store processes, you need to understand that your process of store, the back inside, needs to function efficiently in terms of IT, technology, uh, you know, organizational link, etc. Staff planning and motivation. You need to have staff in the store which is very very trained well and also they should be engaged and motivated to serve your customers or prospective customers so hence it's important that these aspects are very essential for a store operation now let's understand that there is a certain checklist which needs to be formulated as well as followed by each and every member of the store operation team let's quickly take a look at that so you need to have your cash and credit card operation in place and that is the duty and responsibility of a cashier as well as a head cashier. Gift vouchers as well as credit notes need to be there in sufficient quantity as well as good quality. Scrutiny of the reports of the whole revenue discounts, the refund system, it needs to be in place because what you're giving to one customer needs to be given to the other customer as well. If you are refunding one customer and not refunding the other, there might be a big mismatch and clutter. So you need to ensure that scrutiny of all of these is very important. Exchange of garments as well as alteration of certain you know, products is something that you need to follow the SOP which is the standard operating procedure adherence to SOP is very important so you need to have all of this in place in terms of how does the exchange and alteration work and what is the process for the same stock transfer between the store as well as the warehouse need to be kept in mind direct store deliveries also needs to be checked into and the price revision uh, what is the price revision going to be how soon will you revise the prices when will the sales happen when will the discount season start all of this is something that you need to have a day-to-day -day checklist upon let's look at certain more details in terms of the day-to-day -day checklist you need to have a returnable gate pass if there is a member who's coming in for you know exchanging a particular product or refund of a particular product they need to have a gate pass in place you also need to understand that if there is a damaged product or damaged uh, you know garment or soiled garment do you exchange or return or refund the customer perpetual inventories should be there backstore maintenance in terms of computers laptops inventories etc security the safety as well as the statutory records need to be in place manual invoices in case there's a power failure or in case there's a technological glitch you need to ensure that your manual invoicing is done in the correct order and the various HR activities or human resource activities inside the store is very essential to keep the employees motivated and engaged. Friends, let's look at what are the responsibilities of a store manager. Now, the store manager is the head of a particular retail outlet or retail store. And there is a lot of responsibility for that particular position. So he has to be in charge of human resources. He's also in charge of the store business operations, making sure the store opens on time as well as closes on time. Product management, so all the category heads and product heads really um, report into the store manager. Team development, whatever is the team development in terms of the employee engagement is something that is the lookout of a store manager. Problem solving, whenever there's a problem, he needs to have a solution. Sales generation is something that is the lookout of a store manager. Safety and security of the store as well as of the staff is very important that they need to be secured. Division of responsibilities, it's important that all the staff members get equal responsibility. There should not be one staff who has too much of work to do and the other one who is not having too much work. Hiring, training and development of the staff, recruitment of the right kind of people, training them for the right kind of attitude that you want as well as developing them year on year or month on month is the responsibility and duty of a good store manager let's friends look at what are the different customer segments now if you work in a retail outlet or retail store you will have different kinds of customer and different segments of customer let's look at what you need to expect out of these different segments of people who come into your store. 
So the first one we will talk about is the men segment. When you have a lot of men coming into your retail outlet, you will understand that they function in a different way than that of women. Well, I'm sure you have heard of the saying, men are from Mars and women are from Venus, haven't you? So they also behave in a different manner when they come inside a retail store. With regards to male members or men, you will see that they move very fast. They are not slow movers. So they exactly know what they want and they will move fast towards that section. They don't look too much on the price tags. Well, if you have observed this, men don't have a tendency to look at price tags too much. They can be upgraded easily and that is an advantage that the staff has with men because they can always upgrade them and sell them a higher price product in the same category. They hate asking for directions. I think they take it in their ego and their pride. So you will hardly ask, you see men looking for directions or asking for directions out of a staff. Men also get a thrill from experience of paying. So when they are at the cash counter, they would love to pay and they get a kick or thrill out of paying at the cash counter. Well, that was on men. Now let's look at women and how do the women function when they come for shopping in a retail store. So as a woman, you will see that you, they spend more money when they come with other women. So if a woman is coming in a bunch of with other women, they are likely to spend more money than them just to kind of show off. They are also more demanding. So women customers are difficult to handle because they are full of demands and complaints all the time. They take much more time in decision making and they are probably because of which slower at taking decisions. They take a lot of time, they will think, probe and they are not really easy to handle. That's the women segment. Coming to the elders or the older shoppers inside the store. Now, elders have a technical way of functioning and that is they need brightly lit stores. Uh, if a store is dimly lit, an uh, elder shopper would not really want to enter that store. They must have easy to read signs and signatures and labels everywhere. They see, the elder people, they see more of black, white and red products and garments and uh, that is something that probably excites them more or really um, pulls them towards the direction. They are very less likely to look at other colors and they are a little slow in the decision making because probably their brain functions a little slower than the younger generation. So that was about the old shoppers at a retail store. Next, looking at the segment of children. Now, when children come to the store, you will observe that they cannot sit still in a place. They will want to run all over the store. They want to pick up different pieces and different products and services. And they will be a little difficult to handle. And you will definitely see children when they come with their parents to shop. Parents lose a lot of patience uh, with the children because they're all over the place. So children uh, probably are somebody who need more of free space to move about. They also need nice bright colors which gets them extracted or rather very, very ex uh, you know excited to buy something. And they also love to see something that they can just hold and start using. So that was about the children segment in retail. So friends, that brings us to the end of this particular module on store operations. Well, I do hope you have understood and enjoyed listening to this particular segment of store operations under retail. Keep watching more videos coming your way. Till then, thank you.